Christine, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these really awesome DIY beach sand wine glass candle holders. Now, I know we're going into the holidays, and this isn't holiday themed, but these were just so gorgeous, I had to stop and drop everything and make these and show you guys how to do it yourself. I absolutely love these, and speaking of the holidays, if you have a friend that's a wine lover, these would be a great gift for them. Don't judge me, um, and I'm not just saying that because I have these available on Etsy. But let's get back to showing you guys how to make these. First, we'll start by getting our supplies. So we'll need a wine glass, cardboard, fine sand, seashells, pearl beads, mosaic gems, rough sand, chipboard, rope, twine, and a candle. Next, we'll need a few tools. So we'll be using a pen or pencil, scissors, hot glue, and a ruler. Let's begin by getting our wine glass. We'll place the wine glass upside down on a piece of cardboard. Then, using a pen or pencil, trace the lip of the glass onto the cardboard and cut it out with your scissors and save the cardboard circle for later. Now, flip your wine glass back up. Next, we're going to place our seashells in the wine glass. Now, place in a couple of pearl beads. I place in a few mosaic glass gems to look kind of like sea glass. Next, I cover everything in a fine grain sand. Since the fine sand can leave a dusty residue inside the glass, I cover it all in a rough sand to keep some of the sand dust from sticking to the glass. So as you can see, this fine grain sand right here is a really beautiful sand, but the plastic is covered in like a dust. And if you look at our coarse sand here, it doesn't leave as much dust. Once you've placed everything inside, it's time to seal it up. So I'm gonna grab the cardboard circle and hot glue it inside of the glass. Now to make sure the sand doesn't come out, I apply a generous amount of hot glue anywhere that could have a small hole. Then I flip it over and shake to make sure that it's all secure. Next, I'll measure out, trace, and cut my chipboard into a long strip. Then I place that strip around my candle to see how big the candle holder will be. I do measure it out just a tiny bit bigger than making it like tight around the candle. Then I cut off the excess chipboard and hot glue it into a circle and set that aside. Next, I'll hot glue the rope at the bottom of the wine glass and wrap it around three times. Cut off the remaining rope and hot glue the end of the rope to the glass. Now we'll wrap the rope around the stem in the same way we just did for the bottom of the glass. Then we do the same thing yet again, but this time around that candle holder. Now we just hot glue the candle holder on top. Lastly, I grab my twine and I'm gonna cut three long strips of twine and then tie them into a bow just under the candle holder. I've also hot glued a shell underneath the bow and now we can place in a candle to finish it off. And the only extra step I do with these is I add a piece of chipboard here in the shape of a circle to the bottom. I only do this step because I'm selling mine. If I wasn't, I wouldn't worry about it because nobody's gonna see the bottom anyway. All right, you guys. Well, I thought that these came out really, really nice. I absolutely love them so much. Um, I definitely think it would be really cool to do like Christmas ones where you put like maybe some Christmas stuff in there, like snow and some cute stuff, maybe some tinsel wrapping instead. Uh, but I really love these. I love that they're beach themed and they're just so cute and I just, I love them. I don't know what else to say about them, but I do have step-by-step -step tutorial instructions if you guys are looking for that over on my website. Link in the description. Also, I'm selling some on Etsy. Yes, I made a bunch more um, that I will be selling. I've already sold some, so be quick with that. That link is on that page with the tutorial for these if you guys want to buy them if they're still available. Um, but yeah, I really love them. Don't know what else to say. Don't